Surprise! The Apple Watch event wasn't just about the Apple Watch. Apple announced its newest laptop called the MacBook. It's thinner and lighter than any laptop Apple's ever built, so you'd think they would call it the MacBook Air. But they didn't. They named it just plain MacBook to differentiate it from the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. The biggest difference is that the MacBook only has one port. That's it. Just one. It's a new port called USB-C. This is going to take the place of your MagSafe power adapter, USB ports, even connects to DisplayPort displays. The one thing USB-C doesn't support is Thunderbolt. And that's really shocking because Apple has a Thunderbolt port or two on every single other computer in its lineup. We're still trying to figure out why no Thunderbolt support and what this means for people who have the Thunderbolt display. Besides just going to one port, the new MacBook has a Retina display. It's 12 inches and it gets rid of almost all of the bezel that you have around the current family of Mac notebooks. I got to try the keyboard on the new MacBook and I was really impressed. The keys are 17% bigger, so even on a smaller laptop you have bigger keys to hit with your fingers. Apple replaced the scissor switch mechanism under the keys with its own new butterfly key switches. Butterfly keys let you tap anywhere on the key for the same feeling, so you don't get that wobbly thing where you tap on the side of a key and you feel the whole thing kind of go sideways. It's really great, makes typing really fast. They also changed the backside illumination. Every single key on the new MacBook has its own LED underneath, so you'll get less light leaking out the side and it'll be more power efficient too. The trackpad is all new too. It's the biggest trackpad Apple's ever put on a laptop and it no longer hinges from the top, so anywhere you click on the trackpad feels the same. And it's not only just regular taps and clicks, it has a new force click gesture. This trackpad is pressure sensitive, so it can tell if you're tapping, clicking, or force clicking. A force click is gonna be supported in OS X to let you quick look documents, see addresses on a map, add dates and times to your calendar. It's gonna speed up everything. Apple says the battery in the new MacBook will last all day. They claimed nine hours of wireless productivity, 10 hours when watching movies. Obviously, that's something we're gonna test when we get one in house. The other cool thing about the MacBook is that it comes in colors. It comes in space gray, silver, or gold, just like the iPad and the iPhone. The new MacBook comes out April 10th, starting at $12.99. I can't wait to get one in the office to really put it through its paces for the official Macworld review.